Sana and this is my YouTube channel. I am the owner and creator of Bella Renovare and today what I want to do is go over a technique with you that I like to call dry blending. It's not really dry, okay, per se, um, because the paints are going to be wet, but we're not going to use a mister bottle for this and we're actually going to do some neutral colors today. So this dresser behind me is actually done in Dixie Belle's Hurricane Gray and Dixie Belle's Putty. And these two colors are very neutral. But what I'm gonna show you today is how to blend those two colors together so that there's not that hard line. And we're only gonna do it with paint. We're not gonna use a mister bottle. We're gonna use paint and paint brushes and that's it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and it's fairly simple and hopefully it will help you. I know that we have a ton of people out there who teach blending. And sometimes it just takes that one person or that one technique to just click in your head. Um, so we are gonna work on this piece again and they're neutral colors, which I know is like out of left field for me, but I think as an artist, it's important for you to learn how to work and make all different color schemes your own art. So we are going to work on this. I'm gonna show you how I blend this together and hopefully, like I said, it helps and let's get started. Okay, so we're back and what I focused on is doing two coats of each color. So we did the hurricane gray. I did two coats of that. And then I also did two coats of the putty down here. And then I decided where was my blending line going to be. So my blending line is going to be right here. And so I made sure I went down. I wasn't too concerned with what it's going to look like because we're going to blend this area together. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your color. So putty and hurricane gray are the ones that we're going to be using. And I also have three brushes. So Dixie Belle synthetic brushes are my favorite to use. I've got an oval medium and then I've got another oval medium. And then I also have my mini angled. Okay. So what you're going to need is a color for each paint that you're using, and then you're going to need your neutral brush. All right. So the first steps are to get this surface wet. So again, we're doing a dry brushing. It's not dry. The paint is wet, but we're not going to be using a blender bottle. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And we are going to start probably over on this edge right here and then we'll work our way across. So the first step, and I'm gonna work on the side later, we're just gonna work on these areas and then the front. So you can work in sections. You don't have to do it all at once. So we're gonna do the side first and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my oval medium and I'm going to work from the top and then go to the bottom. So hurricane gray is the first. So we're gonna dip some paint in there, okay? And I'm going to kind of wipe it off and I'm gonna get all this area up here. I'm gonna get it wet, okay? So we're gonna get this wet first. So then it's wet with the paint. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to take our putty, do the same thing, but we're gonna go up with it and we're gonna get this area wet as well. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our neutral brush and we are going to kind of blend them a little bit, go to side to side, go up like this. Don't be afraid to go different directions. And we are going to try to blend that center right there. Okay. And then when we kind of make that line so that it's not so strong, we're going to take our brush that we had for Hurricane Gray. We're not going to put paint on it. And I'm just going to flick it down into that area. Okay, we're gonna flick it down, kind of just go like this. Don't worry about getting it in there. And then I'm gonna take my other brush that was putty and go from the top and kind of go up. You can go to the side if you want, go up like this, okay? And then we're gonna take that neutral brush again and we're just going to lightly feather it. You can use this way, you can go horizontal. You can go in little circles if you feel like that helps. And then, so we haven't really blended this area. I can't really see, I'm sitting in front of the, the thing. So, so then you've got that. We can work over here on this side because that's gonna drive me crazy. So we're gonna repeat the process, okay? So we've got our hurricane gray that I put a little paint on and I'm just gonna go down right here. Now that I can kind of see that area. I'm gonna go down into that. 
again, we're gonna put some paint on the putty, go from the bottom, work our way up. I'm just cleaning up that. We're gonna take our neutral brush and we're just gonna kinda go in circles, go up and down, go sideways. That way we are getting that area right there a little bit more smooth. Okay, remember we're gonna take our brush again that we didn't put extra paint on and we're gonna go down and go side to side if you want. And you're gonna want a rag too in case you want to dab it and get some of those, cause they're gonna cross contaminate. The colors are gonna cross contaminate, which is totally fine. Just use a rag to wipe it off. So then there's our putty. We're gonna go up, especially for the neutral brush, you're gonna want to kind of wipe it off but then again, we're just gonna go side to side and voila, we've got some blending. Now, when it dries, if you've got a little too much putty up here in your gray, you can always just go over the hurricane gray and go down and kind of use that same technique to blend it um, because there is a little bit of putty that is up here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is once it dries, you'll reassess it and you can do the same process. Now we're gonna move on to the front. This is gonna be kind of the same process. I'm gonna move this a little bit so that we got it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the top. We're gonna to start with Hurricane Gray and we're going to wet this, okay? So what we're wanting is the area that we're blending, we wanna make sure that that is wet with the Hurricane Gray. I'm gonna go all the way across. Make sure it's nice and we've got a good, foundation to work with and then we're going to do our putty and we're going to do the same thing and butter it up against there and again you can work in sections on here so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our neutral brush that I've wiped off and I'm just going to kind of Go through and go horizontal, just to kind of dry blend these colors together. You can do vertical, almost like a dabbing effect. You can you can kind of go at your side and kind of swirl it if you'd like. What we're trying to do right now is minimize that hard line that we have that's over here. We're trying to minimize that first before we really start blending. So you can go back and forth, do little choppies if you want. And you can see that it's starting to kind of cloud a little bit. It's a way that that transition line is not so hard. That is half the battle I think with blending is getting that line between the colors to be a little bit more smooth and not so hard, okay? So, we're gonna go back, so wipe off your brush. We're gonna go back. This is just an old t-shirt that I'm using. And again, we've got a hurricane gray that I did not put extra paint on, and I'm just gonna kind of go horizontal into that area that we just smoothed out. Okay, you can go vertical. Basically, you're doing the same process that I just did with that neutral brush. You can do swirls if you want. What we're attempting to do is kind of add a little bit of gray on here. And then I'm gonna wipe this off because it's cross-contaminated with the putty. We're gonna take our putty brush that we did. We didn't extra add any extra paint. It's just the paint that was left over. You can kind of go vertical, horizontal. The thing with blending is you cannot be afraid of things like your paint going up into that, okay? You cannot be afraid of going different directions. You can't be afraid of doing a little bit of the circles. We're trying to go vertical because it's just paint. So if it doesn't look the greatest when it dries, just try it again and go over it again. Okay, now we're gonna take our neutral brush again and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do vertical first. It doesn't matter if you did vertical or horizontal first. Time. That's just what I'm doing right now. Vertical first, then I'm gonna do horizontal. Now putty has a little bit of a green tint to it. So down here, it looks a little bit green. 
So you're gonna wanna let it dry first before you assess it. Our blending line is right here, okay? So let's just say that you went down here and you've got a little bit of a hurricane gray down here. You can just go over that part with the putty and fix it. You can spot fix it. The only part that you can't really spot fix would be the blended part and that's why we're doing this with this neutral brush to kind of bring the colors together. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, because I can see that the Hurricane Gray needs to be blended in a little bit more, I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of the Hurricane Gray on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it in, get it all off, okay? And I'm gonna start up here, further up, and kind of work my way down. All crossed, work my way down into where that putty is. Down a little bit, you don't want too much. And then, at this point, I'm gonna make sure my neutral brush is clean. And I'm going to, again, do the thing that I did in the very beginning where I'm trying to marry these colors together. Okay? point, you're probably going to want to let it dry first before you assess it, but if it looks good, then you can leave it, but if you feel like it needs to be blended in a little bit more, then repeat the process and just kind of work with it. Like this part right here that we did a couple minutes ago, it's already dry, and I think that it's blended pretty nice. Um, I kind of might want to smooth up this right here a little bit, but I think that it looks great. So what I'm gonna do is allow this to dry first and then I'm gonna assess it, but that's what you're gonna do. It's the same process. I did it right here on this curved edge to show you. I did it on the front because it's kind of flat to show you. So it would be the same process on the sides, on um, a surface that is not flat. So it's fairly simple. So the thing with dry blending is that's, this is kind of the process that I use when I have colors that are hard to blend together, that are not light colors. I mean, you can do this with any colors. So I did a piece in, there was a piece that I did in Caviar, Honky Tonk Red, and Manatee Gray, and those colors are not like colors. And so I did this process to blend those colors together. So this is just another option for blending. You're not using water, you're just using the paints and paint brushes to blend them together. Um, I also need to tell you that the paintbrushes are damp, so there's, they are damp, but we're not using any external water in this process. We are only using the paint and the paintbrushes. So hopefully this kind of helps a little bit and it clicks in your head. If you don't like this process or you don't like this technique, that's totally fine. There's tons of other techniques out there. So again, I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then if I don't like it, I'm gonna kind of do it again just to smooth it out more.